dear students today i am here with the fourth part of the chapter atmospheric pressure and winds hope you have seen last three parts here this point uh, which i am going to explain see here first of all written here planetary or permanent winds so from where this term it has come we should know and before that some introductory part you also should know then you can link up to with the today's topic first of all students that uh, in the last chap last video i have explained about these pressure belts i am also using the same that diagram for also explaining this wind okay so here students uh, first we uh, all know the insulation on this earth is not same everywhere and differential of heating of that land and water also there and with that we have seen students that as a shape of the earth is sphere so some part it is uh, getting that direct rays some part some part of the earth is getting the slanting rays of the sun and due to that with the unequal distribution um, we can see in the heating post, uh, heating or that the temperature variation is there all over the world but in this case the most important role played by the winds the winds basically it make the balance of the heat all over the world otherwise that the um, that on um, the balance will not be maintained we have seen that previously previous chapters about that heat budget how the is you know, that um, infrared or that also solar radiation it reach to earth and how much it reflect and then the budget how it balance so in this case to maintain the balance of the heat wind play a very vital role so what is wind the horizontal movement of the air it call it called as wind horizontal movement of the air and which air or wind it prevail or blow throughout the throughout the air at the same direction the same speed these are known as permanent or planetary winds what i have said that the horizontal movement of the air it known as wind and which wind it blow throughout the air at the same direction at the same speed that is known as planetary winds okay so here students planetary winds basically divided into three that type trade wind anti trade wind or westerly then number 3 is polar easterly okay so here i have written their latitudinal extension so that uh, when i will explain here you can understand that for trade wind we can see 5 degree to 30 degree northern southern hemisphere then this also wind basically two type we can see that northern northeast trade wind southeast and you know students the name of the winds always follow their direction according to that direction from which side they are blowing by that the name used to give then anti trade just opposite of the trade wind and uh, it basically we have read in the last part that is hot horse latitude that 30 degree to 40 degree basically 60 degree the high pressure zone subtropical high pressure zone which it was there that is the horse latitude in this horse latitude 40 degree which is known as the roaring 40s and 50 degree south which is known as the furious 50s but why that we i will explain later on and then 70 degree to 90 degree north and southern hemisphere that not north east polar winds and south east polar winds okay so here students be with me to see here that how the winds are blowing and which way direction first i will talk about trade wind the trade the trade this term it means track track okay in the ancient time there was no airways there was no roadways people only used to trade through that waterways or we can see we can tell that people are using that waterways since time immemorial we don't know from which also year people are using this waterways so that time they were not having compass they were not having any navigation that instrument so that time they used to follow only the direction of the prevailing winds and from that that also it means uh, that which wind they used to follow for that trading purpose from that also cause it used the name of the winds given trade winds okay here this trade wind we can see in that also this diagram see here 
first of all in that third five degree to 30 degree north and 30 degree south within this hemisphere and from where this wind coming that in the last part in that uh, that pressure belts i have explained here the wind which descend here in that subtropical high pressure zone that divides into two parts so one part which is moving towards or blowing towards the equatorial low pressure that in the northern hemisphere in the southern hemisphere that is actually known as the trade wind okay which moving from that subtropical high pressure towards that equator that is known as trade wind and this trade wind they follow the direction of that basically down direction which influenced by the Coriolis force and we all know that according to the Coriolis force Coriolis force in the northern hemisphere the wind always will blow at the right hand side and in the southern hemisphere it always blow at the that the left hand side from their own direction if wind is blowing towards this direction it will deflect this side right hand in the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere it will deflect at the left hand side from their own direction okay so here this wind also flow uh, blow according to this the Coriolis force and here this wind we can see that basically that northeast and southeast trade wind by this name it um, very famous and they converge in this 0 degree to 5 degree within this doldrum area it form ITCZ already I have told you the last part so here students we are getting to see that from the high pressure area the high pressure subtropical high pressure area the trade wind is blowing towards the equatorial zone so this is trade wind and now anti trade means opposite of the trade wind so opposite direction which wind we going you just see here the subtropical high pressure one branch is moving to that subpolar low uh, subpolar low pressure zone here in the northern hemisphere here also southern hemisphere are you getting to see from these also high pressure one branch is going to equator that is the trade wind another branch is going to subpolar low pressure area subpolar low pressure this just opposite the trade wind this is anti trade wind or westerly it's blowing within 60 degree to 70 degree that north and southern hemisphere okay and here one most important thing that this uh, latitude the extension that 30 degree to 60 degree north and southern hemisphere where the surf movement of the surface air are not there due to that uh, people that at the, that time or the ancient time people used to throw the horses which actually or the cargoes which actually was horses uh, or where horses used to throw in the water to uh, make their that uh, ships lighter weighted so that's why the name of these pressure bells used to give that horse latitude and after that this a uh, this anti-trade wind or the westerly is basically we can see very that uh, having high speed at the southern hemisphere students listen carefully this anti-trade wind which is blowing from this uh, subtrop subtropical high pressure at the southern hemisphere towards the subpolar low pressure area the southern hemisphere this is actually more strong or more stronger than this northern hemisphere but why because in the northern hemisphere if you will see the world map in the northern hemisphere the maximum land masses are there the wind can't blow at a very high speed because it is striking with some various land masses so the speed it's restricting there but in the southern hemisphere you can see in the world map the um, uh, the southern hemisphere having very less percentage of that water uh, that uh, land masses in comparison to the water bodies we can say 15 times more water bodies are there than the um, land masses in southern hemisphere and whatever land masses are present there these are all narrow water uh, land masses so the wind within this hemisphere that 30 degree to 60 degree southern hemisphere it blow at a very high speed even when it blow it's a, in some noise it used to come because at the day and there is no barrier there is no um, distraction is there and within this 40 40 degree south hemisphere it's known as the roaring 40s 
and in the 50 degree that southern hemisphere is known as furious 50s due to its speed due to that strongness okay so students these two that used to come in the exam what is roaring 40s and what is furious 50s so what you have to say now here the next one is there polar sterling and one more thing i will forget to tell so here one more thing that in this um, basically when the westerly wind is blowing towards that low pressure area in that southern and northern hemisphere due to that mediterranean sea area it receiving rainfall winter rainfall okay mediterranean sea area receiving winter rainfall and that's why all the citrus fruit used to uh, grow in that mediterranean climate zone okay and here last is polar sterly polar sterlies we can see 70 degree to 90 degree north and 70 degree to 90 degree southern hemisphere here what's happening this polar wind that as it is a heavy and cold wind so it used to move toward that basically that's no, low pressure zone area low pressure area and it also flows no, basically follow the no, or it used to in get the influence by the coriolis force and it deflect from their own directions and used to move toward the east like you can see here the wind is blowing towards the low low pressure area for that and if the wind is blowing from these directions this is the, here it is also it will deflect toward the left hand side so it will deflect toward the left hand side so according to the coriolis force what i get, what we are also saying here the wind which is coming or blowing from high pressure towards the low pressure area it due to that coriolis force it deflecting and it's moving towards the right hand side in the northern hemisphere and the left hand side in the southern hemisphere okay